On April 1st, 1988, just two weeks after her eighth birthday, April Marie Tinsley left a friend's house and never came home. Her mother reported her missing, prompting an immediate police search. A witness reported seeing man forcing a young girl into a blue pickup. Police quickly released a composite sketch and tips poured in, but the hope was short-lived. Three days later, a jogger discovered April's body. After an initial suspect was cleared, the leads dried up. Then, two years later, a chilling message was found scrawled in crayon on a barn door. I kill eight-year-old April Marie Tysley. Did you find the other shoe? Ha ha, I will kill again. When April's body was found, one shoe had been missing, a fact never released to the public. It was April's killer, mocking investigators and vowing to kill again. The case froze over once more. Fourteen years passed. The silence was shattered 2004 when a seven-year-old girl found a plastic bag on her bicycle. Inside, a used condom, Polaroids of a man's genitals, and a terrifying note. Three more bags appeared that weekend left for little girls. Investigators tested DNA from the condom and it matched the sample from April's case. Police questioned a sex offender, but his DNA did not match. The case went cold again. Investigators never gave up. Decades passed. In 2009, an FBI profiler described the killer as a white man in his 40s, likely low income and obsessed with little girls. In 2015, Parabone Nanolabs used the killer's DNA to generate a DNA composite sketch, a scientific estimate of what the person probably looks like based only on their genes. Now, April's killer had a profile and a face. The final piece of the puzzle fell into place in 2018. Inspired by the capture of the Golden State Killer, detectives tried the same revolutionary approach. Forensic genealogy. Expert genealogist C.C. Moore built a family tree from the killer's DNA, which honed in on two local brothers. Investigators zeroed in on one of them, John Miller. His trailer in gravel sat just a stone's throw from the barn where the 1990 taunt was written. He was put under surveillance, and investigators searched his trash, finding used condoms. The DNA was tested. It was a match. After 30 years of taunts and dead-end leads, the DNA spoke. Detectives brought Miller in for questioning. When they asked why he thought they were there, his reply was immediate. April Tinsley. He confessed to everything. His admissions were deeply disturbing. Too disturbing to convey here. For three decades, the case went cold again and again. But each time, the killer's arrogance drove him to taunt authorities, while the police refused to give up. Finally, thanks to their persistence and the power of DNA, the animal who stole April's life was unmasked. In December 2018, John Miller pled guilty and was sentenced to 80 years in prison. He will never leave. While not the justice he deserves, he did not get away with these heinous crimes.